Hello guys, hello, hello, legacy leaders. I'm gonna tag a few of you that I see are on. Um, I am whoop, at the airport picking up my mom. She's not here right now yet. She'll be here in a little bit, but I wanted to come on here. Hey, Danielle. Hi, guys. Say hi as you come on. Um, as always, if you're watching the replay, let me know. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Bree. Um, so, yeah, I'm sitting in the cell phone lot at the airport waiting for my mom, and I figured I'd come on here and talk to y'all. So, yesterday... Anya posted a post about um, like what what you're looking forward to in your business or what you what you're focusing on as a leader in your business for 2023. So that is um, an interaction post that we have for a reason. But and I loved reading them all. Hey Jessica. But one of the things that I've heard a lot from a lot of you are when we're talking about your struggles, because let's just put it out there that everyone has struggles in this business. Like no one's business is perfect. No one's a perfect leader. No one's a perfect person, perfect business owner, no matter what you see in someone else or no matter how you see someone else, um, there's no such thing. So let's be real clear on that. But when we're talking about your struggles one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of you are saying that a struggle of yours or a focus of yours is actually something that's out of your control. Okay, so if you've never heard of it, um, it's something that I've looked into a lot because uh, if you don't know, I do struggle with anxiety. Um, and so I've looked a lot into the circle of control. So the circle of control are things that you can control. And then outside that circle is another circle of things that you can't control. In between those circles is a circle of influence, which is just like life things. So Pinterest it, Google it, look it up. It's definitely a good awareness tool to have, especially if you struggle with anxiety, because a lot of my anxiety is worrying about things that I can't control. And I noticed, like I said, that a lot of you that I've talked to one-on-one, -on -one, or even if you know we've asked in the past um, on here about things you're struggling with, Sometimes it's things that are out of your direct control. So if y'all are on here live, drop in the comments, what are some things that are in leadership that are out of your control? What are some things that are outside of what you as a person, as a leader, as a business owner can control? Okay see that seven of y'all are on right now live. Thank you for being on live. I do appreciate that because I don't like talking to myself. What are some things in leadership that are out of your control? Oop. Or even maybe not in leadership, maybe just in life. So some of the things that I personally, okay, so Kendra says if a teeny wants to work their business, how much my downline work, what other people do, Yes, other people's work ethic and willingness to do their business. So, when you're asked this question or you're presented with this question, you know the answer because all of those are correct, right? But to remember that in your everyday life is really hard because we as people cannot control what other people say, what other people do, what other people's work ethic is, what other people want in life, what other people want in this business, um, what anyone else other than yourself does, says, thinks, writes, reacts, all of that, right? So we can't control any of that. So when we're leading or when I'm leading specifically, I always lead within my circle of control. So the things that we can control, drop those in the comments. What are some of the things that in your business or even just as a person, things that you can control yourself? So some of those things for me is 
um, what I say and how I say it, how I react, what I share, how and when I show up, my consistency, Anya said my attitude, my effort, my PRB, my work ethic, right? And so we have to remember that even as a consultant who isn't a leader yet, maybe they're a certified consultant, a lot of their work in this business is within their circle of control. But when you become a leader, yes, Jessica, your commitment, my work ethic, Kendra said, yes, all of those things. So we have to remember as a leader that we still have to work within that circle of control because when we start worrying about what Susie Q is not doing or what Susie Q is going to think of her leader or what Peggy Sue is gonna say about this or that, um, we get distracted. And we get distracted in a way that it takes away from the things that are important in this business. So when you are leading, I just wanna make sure and make a point that you are taking control, right? And you're leading within your control. So when we're talking about things that we're working on our business, we're gonna talk about the things that we are, we, we, I am doing as a leader. Do I want everyone to want more out of this business? Yes. Do I want some of my teammates to work more than they do? Yes. Do um, I know that other people are not going to always like what I have to say, how I run something, how I do a program, um, any of that? Yes, it's going to happen. But those things are out of my control. So I have to just focus on being the best leader that I can be, a leader that I would want because I never had one. I, my sponsor isn't, isn't around and that's okay. I still appreciate that she's my sponsor because without her, I would not be here. Um, and I truly believe too, here's the other thing. A lot of times people are, what, what am I doing wrong in onboarding? What am I doing wrong in training? What am I doing wrong in mentoring? What am I doing wrong in coaching? Those are the questions I get a lot. Okay, are you mentoring? Are you training? Are you showing up? Are you sharing? Are you doing those things to the best of your ability and where you are in your business right now? Yes, then you're on the right track. Are you onboarding? Yes, awesome. You're on the right track. As leaders, we have to do a lot of offering. So that starts as soon as someone signs up. Um, we have to offer them the trainings. We have to offer them the help. We have to um, offer to show them things, right? But in, at the end of the day, some of the highest producing people in our business did not have a sponsor that did those things. So I want to be real clear that the work that we do, and I'm not saying don't do those things at all. I'm not saying that. I'm saying do your best as a leader show up because that's going to be the first step right to be there to be active as in being present as being um available within a certain time um that's what matters okay because even if here's the thing even if you do your best even if you feel like you've done everything you can i know a lot of you are going through this you've asked every person you've given everything you can to maybe current teammates and they still aren't picking it up. They still aren't responding. They still aren't working. At least you did your best, right? At least you were present. At least you were there to offer those things for them. And that as a leader is all you can do. You can't make them use those tools. You can't make them watch the trainings. You can't make them show up to things. Um, but as a leader, again, working within our control, our circle of control, being there, showing up, training, working our own businesses, all those things is what is important. Okay. Um, now the other thing is you never know when that's going to change with someone. So I've heard, and I've even said this myself where I'm like, I'm not sponsoring any other hobbyist. 
I don't like this is a real business y'all know that y'all know that this is how I pay my bills this is how I put food on our table this is how I pay our mortgage income disclosure inserted um so this is a real this is real for me this isn't a side gig this isn't whatever but it all it wasn't always that okay it wasn't always um anything it wasn't always a job it wasn't always something I did every day it wasn't always consistent God knows um, I feel bad for my current my newest some of my newest teamies because I didn't know what I was doing as a leader but I think that's okay because I'm still here as a leader does that make sense um, I didn't have the systems in place I didn't know um, a lot that I know today the leader that someone who joins today is a lot different leader than someone who joined me four years ago um, and that's part of the journey if anyone has anything to say about who I was as a leader four years ago cool you think what you think keep on moving like I said in my other training today we're not doing negative 2023 energy if you don't like it just keep moving that's just where I'm at but um I did my best then and I'm still doing my best now is my best better than it was then yes absolutely but and still some days I'm like I don't know what the hello I'm doing right because this is all still a learning is calling um so when I say that everyone on your team has a place I mean it don't ever not offer this opportunity to someone because they just want a discount or because they just um, need a hundred bucks or maybe they want to do this business but they don't want to be a leader. That was me and Anya. Anya didn't even show up to her launch party. Let's just mention that. Love you, girl. But, right, so things have changed. Some of our directors came in and a lot of our directors came in not even thinking that this could happen for them that they could make the money that they're making that they have the team size that they're making that they're earning incentives and going on free chips right none of that started with someone saying oh my gosh I'm gonna be the bomb.com leader top three percent of my company it just it's okay it's it just it rarely happens so give everyone on your team give every potential recruit a chance whether it is for a discount if it's a discount awesome and that's why i say that communication part is so important that's where that circle of control comes in where you communicate with them you figure out what kind of consultant are they um what kind of consultant do they want to be right um i had a conversation with someone yesterday director is not something they want again right now it was communicated we're we're, we understand each other and I told her as soon as you're ready to come back in let me know I'll be here to help you but she was very clear that that's not her goal right now and that's okay okay I'm not gonna I'm gonna focus on my circle of control and I'm gonna spend my energy on the people who do want to be a director or do want to promote or do want more from this business right that's my circle of control I could sit there and get upset that someone's leaving uh, or not leaving but someone doesn't want to go further or doesn't want a title back that they had but that's just that's a waste of energy I want to put my energy into the growth that I also want to okay um, so give everyone a chance on your on your team everyone has a place from the hobbyists to the superstars to the ultimate unicorns they all have a spot um, I'm gonna go through and read some of these comments real quick I saw Danielle commented but ah, I can't see more of the comment okay it says not everyone will work not everything will work for everyone, but if you don't share, then maybe others will never learn something new that they can, and then it cuts coming off. Yeah, so absolutely. Again, that's working within your control of you sharing what you're doing, or you sharing what worked for you, or what you are doing. And, and as a leader, that's offering content and information to these people. It's you, Eric James. Um, 
you have to continue to offer that for them to pick up and do themselves for sure. What pro what people think of you is their own problem. Okay, Leslie, still showing up, learning, then sharing is the best I can do. Um, right. So, 2023, that's what that's the energy we're doing. We are working within our circle of control. We are leading within our circle of control. And I'm not saying that we need to ignore that outer circle, that's that that those things that we can't control or or act like they're not there or act like they don't happen. But we have to be selective in those things, right? If you have someone who continually, here's an example, who continually tells you that they want more, that they want to promote, that they want to do these things, but then when you check in with them, they haven't they haven't done any of the action items that maybe you've given them or you've um, suggested for them or maybe that y'all even talked about. If that continues to happen more and more, the answer, uh, right, the obvious answer is you don't want to give up on them. But you have to act within your circle of control. You have to decide where your energy is best used. And to someone who is continually taking or not taking your advice or not picking up what you're putting down or not showing up for you, um, I would focus on sponsoring someone else. So same thing with your team. We, we're hearing that a lot. My teamies aren't working. They're not doing anything. They're not responding. You need a new team. You need new teamies. Okay. And even if you do have, if this person hits me, if even if you do have those workers, if you want it big, that building never stops. Okay? That building will never stop. So if you have two or three teamies and you can't, their fires are just not lit and you've tried and you've had those conversations, it's time for you to work within your circle of control to say, I'm going to spend my energy on sponsoring more people instead of continuing to pour and give someone my energy who doesn't want it or is not using it. Okay. Same thing for people who maybe have something ugly or negative say about what you're doing, how you're leading, how you're running a program, what you post, all of those things. Same thing. If it's, if it's proving to you over and over the same thing over and over, you have to, you have to take those key points, you have to take those calls, you have to take that into consideration when you're leading and picking and choosing where your energy is going. So yes, 2023 is the year to sponsor. It has, and know that it's not just you, it's not just us, it's not just our team or our groups um, that we're sponsoring is low right now um, because even some of the people, and that's something that I'm focusing on right now too, is sponsoring. But even the people that are, are sponsoring, they're still tr struggling with getting those people to work. And some of them aren't. Some of them are, are sponsoring people left and right and they're doing great, right? And that's where we need those people to share what they're doing. Are they lucky? No. Are they hardworking? Yes. They probably got, they probably asked a ton, probably more than you've asked your whole career to join to get those few people who actually want to work. And that's the other thing. When you're wanting someone to work with you, you have to remember to work with your upline too, right? So if you're, if you're wanting your team to show up for you, you have to show up for your team. So, and that's okay, Kelsey, that that's happened a lot. A lot of people say, well, tell me how you light someone's fire or how you get someone to want more in this business. Your job as a leader is not to motivate your team. Your job as a leader is not to try and make them want more. You can offer it. You can show them how to do it. You can show them the potential of all of that. But it is not your job to motivate them. It's not your job to keep their fire lit. It's not your job Their success is not in your control. That's outside of your circle of control as well. But your circle of control is offering the tools to make them successful. Okay. So take a good look at where you're 
where you're giving your energy in your business. Right now, it's the 11th. I'm still working on my sales. It's a slower month for me. I still have one, one over 1K, but I want my 2K by the 15th. That's my minimum, right? So I, that's, my, that's my main focus right now. I usually don't coach or train, or I train, but I don't coach or mentor anyone um, before the 15th because I, I want my PRV, my 2K minimum squared away, okay? But we have to, it's a new year. We have to really have that self-reflection to say, okay, where are we putting our energy? What are we focusing on? And who are we working with? Okay, one thing I did mention before, and I'll mention it again, is I did a uh, Google form for my frontline. So I have over 60 frontline. I did a Google form because I wanted them to tell me what their goals were for 2023. I asked them a series of questions, um, and I wanted to touch base with them. Some of them are hobbyists, and they still filled it out for me, which I love because I love hearing from them. Um, and some of them surprised me with their answers and their goals, which I'm excited about. And then a lot of them didn't answer. Like I said, yeah, you can say, wow, to 60 frontline, but guess how many active frontline I had last month? 25. Okay. So I hope that puts it in perspective for you too, because less than half. My, I've always had half or more, but slowly that's gone down. So I know, right, that I want that higher. My goal is always to have more than half of my frontline active, but I have a lot of hobbyists. I have a lot of friends who do this for the discount. Um, but I also have a lot of really, really hard workers that want more in this business and that's what I'm focusing on. So I have started to message those people back of my 63, I think it's 63 right now frontline. Guess how many people even filled the form out? 19, 19 did. So guess where my energy is going in 2023? Those 19, okay? Because if they can't fill a form out to help me help them, then I can't help help them, right? Um, so I hope that was helpful. Please continue to be aware and have that self-reflection of what you're doing, who you're talking to. Um, there's about to be an accident who you're talking to, who you're giving your energy to, and what you're working on. I love you guys. We are here. We have this group because we want to help you. We want to help you reach your goals. Um, and I, we want y'all, I too, want y'all to use this group um, for help. That's what a leadership group is for. So I hope y'all have a good night. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Bye guys.